Hello guys, it's me again. Today is a very sad day. Kane Tanaka, who was the world's oldest living person, has passed away. This actually happened uh, around a week ago, and I only found out about this today. I think it was just revealed today, possibly. And yeah, this is so sad. I've actually been following uh, Kane Tanaka's Wikipedia page. I just found out that there is a whole wiki dedicated to gerontology, which of course there is. There is a wiki for everything. I've been following her since late 2020, actually, uh, when she was the world's oldest person at 117 years old. And then I was quite excited to see her become the world's third person ever to reach the age of 118. Of course, now there is a fourth person who reached that age, but at the time, she was the third uh, in January, on January 2nd, which was her birthday, 2021. She became the third. And then I eagerly anticipated January 2nd, 2022, when she became the third person to reach 119. And then I was watching as she got closer and closer to Sarah Knaus to become the second oldest living person ever in history, only behind uh, John Calment uh, from France, who has lived to 122. And yeah, naturally, I was eagerly anticipating January 2nd, 2023, when she would have become the second person ever to reach the age of 120. But unfortunately, she passed away just recently. It's actually quite interesting that she just barely surpassed Sarah. So it's still great that she managed to reach this age, but yeah, it is quite sad that she's no longer with us. This is her in her younger years, as seen on her Wikipedia page, and it says that she was born in modern-day Fukuoka, so she's from Kyushu Island. I hope that you can rest in peace, and naturally, now I will start following Lucille Randon, who was actually, as I mentioned previously, the fourth person ever to reach the age of 118. If we go down a little further, you can see that the eighth oldest verified person to have ever lived is Emma Morano. And I have actually followed her in the past, actually early 2017, which was the year of her passing. I started following her when I just became curious who was the oldest living person at the time. And I noticed that she was the last surviving person at that time from the 19th century. So yeah, then I started revisiting her Wikipedia page and every once in a while. And eventually, of course, I found out that she passed. She was actually the fourth person ever to reach the age of 117, only behind John, Sarah, and Marie-Louise Maylure. Excuse my pronunciations, I am not sure how you say that name. But yeah, I highly recommend that you guys look at this Wikipedia page. Of course, here at the top, you see the 100 verified oldest women, and the reason for that is naturally that women just live longer. The oldest man ever was Jiroyamon Kimura, who was also from Japan, like Kanetanaka who is the only man to ever live to the age of 116. And the oldest living now is Juan Mora, who is 112. But yeah, I just find this sort of stuff interesting. And I just thought I would make a video commemorating Kana Tanaka's great achievement. Before I go, I would like to remind you guys that I also have a channel on Odyssey. So if you're getting sick of YouTube and the now not uncommon censorship that happens, you can subscribe to me on Odyssey instead. I'd also like to give a huge shout out to my Patreon supporters, William and Minecraft Underground, who actually saw this video 48 hours early because they are tier two patrons. Thank you guys. And thanks to anybody else who decides to support me. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in my next video.